Hello everyone, it looked like we're live. So let me check to make sure that if you guys can tell me if you can hear me, that's always the thing. So I'm gonna pop this here. I should get, get the notification. I love it. Just pop my email and so how do I get the notification? It's you have to subscribe right below here. If you subscribe to my channel, you're gonna get an email uh, notification when I go live. So that's the sweet thing. Okay, let's see here. Awesome. Okay, now I can put this away. I think it's working. Well, I'm a bit excited about tonight. If you remember, mm, about three weeks ago, three Thursday, or maybe two, I don't know. The card is gone because somebody went it and it's gone. I did a develop window with the silhouette. It was beautiful. I will attach, when this is done and uploaded back after the live, I will attach that video at the end of this video. It's the one with uh, the new horizon paper and I get the window in the front and then um, I get the silhouette the next page and it opened in three. Well, I'm, remember when I cut the window for that, I said, I'm saving that and we're gonna make a card with that down the road. That's what I'm using tonight. But uh, I decided to, um, I was looking, what am I gonna use with that? Well, I get some pink paper, pretty petal, and then we're gonna use the vellum. And I was watching the comment, a lot of people were commenting about the, the vellum. Yes, the vellum, it's not like what we used to have many years ago. It was so flimsy. It's almost like the way back, the vellum, it's what they used to put like an invitation, wedding invitation in between. That's pretty much what it was. Now we get what it's called the cardstock vellum. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I did a hundred cards last weekend with vellum and i cannot share with you well because they're on their way to my daughter i did her wedding invitation and it's vellum it's very plain pretty plain okay beautiful but they are plain she wanted plain she's like her mama okay apple didn't fall off the tree too much right so, but it's with vellum. Let me tell you something that I learned when I did a hundred of them. So a hundred, so the front of the card, it's, so I needed 25 sheet of vellum. Put that in the computer and I had done about, mm, maybe I had print six of them, but I wanted some extra one, whatever. So I put 25 sheet there because I tested, okay, it needed to be this way and so on. Print nice, it don't smear, it was beautiful. I just got a regular Canon printer, print the cardstock, no problem. Well, I'm like, okay, it's working. I put the 25 sheet of vellum in my printer. I click print and I started on the other table cutting the cardstock in the layers and so on. Go at the printer. I said some word that I cannot repeat here, okay? So let's put it that way. Every flipping sheet of vellum was smear as smear can be. I was like, what the heck did I do? I'm like, hmm, I just opened a new thing of vellum. No, it was not that. So here it is, my friend. You learned from my mistake, okay? I paid the price, you learn from my mistake. So if you choose to print on vellum, you have to take your sheet, you print one, you remove the sheet, put it aside. Keep on printing, you don't have to print one by one. The minute when it's done, you take it out from the tray, put it aside and you let, it takes just a little bit for the ink to dry on vellum. So what happened when I clicked the print, the 25, whatever, when the other sheet would hit the top, it would smear my ink, smear my ink, my ink. <laughs> yeah, I felt my, my ink. So the ink 
H-I-N-K. It's no H there, but I put an H. Why not, right? The ink with smears. So that's what you have to do if you print with. And like I said, I just got a regular, it's not a laser printer. It's just a regular ink printer that I got, and it worked wonderful. Because the invitation really, it's on the, um, what you may call like on the vellum. And do you know which set I use? I use uh, Camellia, a calming Camellia. Mm, so pretty, so pretty. I cannot wait to share with you guys. When my daughter give me the okay that I can share, I will share with you. But um, first, I'm sure she want to mail the invitation and it won't be mailed till April something. So it won't be for a couple months, I bet, before I can share it with you, okay? So I cannot sp spill the beans. That's her party, it's her gig. So I have to let her do her thing. And then when I get the okay, I will share with them. But I am very, very pleased how it turned out. And I am pleased that I did it all last weekend and I was not stressed over it. It was, and because of the vellum and it had to be, it's one eighth of an inch, you know, the front, whatever. I cut them all one by one. I got a big paper cutter. I didn't use that. I cut every piece of uh, vellum one by one. So you can cut that with your regular cutter. Okay, enough of the wedding. So what I'm saying, so tonight we're gonna use the printed vellum, okay? And this is, um, it's like, they call the cardstock villain, but this one it's printed. So we're going to use that. It's about the same thickness than our regular villain. So whatever we're doing tonight, we can do the same thing with our villain, regular villain. It's just that if you stamp on the villain, you won't stamp the back of it so it won't smear, or you want to em eat and boss it, okay? And so the villain that we're using, it's on page uh, 33 in the occasion catalog so I got a few things to um, what it's called not cleaning the house but um, housekeeping ah I got the word housekeeping before we get started so Monday it's the last day of celebration I'm going to share a few cards there I'm not using nothing of celebration but I want to put some reminder, if it's anything you want in those celebration, now it's the time. Also, join, 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 join my team. Uh, I know that it's scary for many people. Don't be scared. If you like a discount when you shop for Stamping Up, you want to join my team. As plain as that. Because uh, you can join to build a business like I did, or you can join just for the discount. Absolutely. My team, per se, the all as a team, it's 97% about of a discount shopper and only 3% that do the business. So you see, we I welcome all of you. So talking about my team, March 12th, I'm having a team retreat online. So if you join, you can be part of that. It's all free to be uh, the retreat for the team. It's all free. It's a full day of stamping. We're going to have some mystery stamping, bingo, tic-tac-toe, um, watercolor class, scenery class, card class, uh, two mystery uh, class. So it's going to be a full day of fun stamping. So keep that in mind. So if you get any question about that, please contact me. I would love to have you or jump at frenchystamps.com. Right at the top, I get Q&A to join my team. So don't be afraid. I'm here to help. Okay, so celebration is finishing. Paper pumpkin, paper pumpkin, paper pumpkin. March is their anniversary. So when it's their anniversary, they give us an extra bone. I say an extra bone because it's a different thing ever here. This year, it's an extra stamp set. Yeehaw! I saw the extra stamp set. I don't. I didn't see the stamp set that is part of the monthly paper pumpkin, but I saw the extra one. It's beautiful. It's a big sheet of stamp, big uh, flowers, greeting, and so on. Beautiful. The stamp set, the extra stamp set, they say it's a value of $18. I believe it compared it to the other catalog. Here's the catch, okay? 
And so anytime they do an extra promotion or extra token or bone, whatever in the paper pumpkin, uh, sometimes it sell out before the date because you have to be a subscriber or redeem your code before March 10 to get that kit. The March kit coordinate with the New Horizon paper, even another big winner, right? So it's very possible that it's going to sell out. I'm not saying it will sell out. I said it's a possibility. I think in the past when it's a special uh, kit or an uh, add-on, pretty much it sell out before the 10. So here's the two way you can be a paper pumpkin thing. And you can do month by month. So you can go at Frenchie Stamp. I got my paper pumpkin right on the side and subscribe and you're going to get charged monthly okay or you don't want to be monthly thing you don't want to get charged you can do the prepay you can do a prepay for one month three months six months 12 months if you do three six 12 <laughs> 12 months a year so that you're going to qualify for um celebration and also the let me think that's the three six and one year you qualify for celebration and the one year also you get the stamping rewards because it's over the 150. so if you do the prepay like that doesn't matter if it's one three six twelve you have to redeem the code in paper pumpkin before the 10 and i would say i would do that right away when you get the code because if you don't do it, it's a chance it's going to be sell out. So even if you buy the prepaid today, it doesn't mean you're going to get the March. You have to redeem the code. So the code is going to come in a separate email if you do the prepaid. The prepaid, it's just like the regular. So you can bypass one month. You're like, oh, it, that subject don't interest me. Or I'm going to be gone. I won't be home. I want to bypass. You just go and bypass for that month. So you don't have to take every month. You can bypass as you want. You can cancel as any time that you want if you do month by month. So I got that cover. I got celebration joining my team. The next thing. So the new catalog, uh, us demonstrator, we're going to see it March 23rd. Another reason why you want to join my team. So you can be the first one to see the catalog and pre-order from it. Talking about the new catalog, come new colors, okay? And every year, it's some colors that won't make it to the end of the catalog. That happen every year. So it can be the re-anchor, it can be the ink, it can be the paper, the embellishment, whatever it is. A lot of the time, some don't go to the end of the catalog. So the catalog go to the end of April and May. Well, I think it's May 3rd. I got the date. One minute. May 2nd. We start the new cat catalog May 3rd. Okay, May 2nd. So... And with that being said, here are the color. So you get Misty Moon, uh, uh, Misty Moonlight, Magenta Madness, Cinnamon Cider, Bumblebee, Just Jade. If any of those five color, it's your favorite. You know they will retire. You know they will not be available for long. So stock up on your favorite one. I cannot say that And of every year we get the retire of the color. I cannot say that strong enough because the minute when it sell out, everybody want that color, that paper or whatever. So I'm warning you, if again, it's Misty Moonlight, Magenta Madness, Cinnamon Cider, Bumblebee, just Jade. Perfect timing to order now. So you're going to qualify for some celebration if you go above 50. Okay. I think that was a mouthful, wasn't it? Okay. I think we're ready to have some fun and stamp. So let me flip this down. We're going to announce the winner first. I don't forget that. Okay. Now, let me bring... I got some stuff here too. Okay. Oh, this, I kept that on my thing. That's uh, 
Miran, Miran, yeah, send that to me. Thank you so much, a Canadian follower. Now, uh, this is that the paper friendly, uh, friendly, friendly in celebration, okay? So that was, I got a video on that very simple. That's going bye bye, the last chance, right? Um, where can I put my stuff? Here's another one. And then the driving by. That's another card I got uh, from Betty. That's the beautiful Camellia. That's what I use for Nika's uh, winning card. Um, the Camellia, again, that's with an order of $300. I know many people say you cannot, you know, afford that or so on. Remember, you can combine your order with your friend. Okay. That's the Camellia. Okay, now move along. Okay, um, Jean Fitch. Jean Fitch, I don't know if you're here tonight. You are the lucky winner of last week a card. So that was with that van, the shagging wagon that I called it. Um, with the, this is just Andro, the, the surfboard. And Oceanfront and Celebrate uh, Flowers. So a fun, fun combination, right? So Jen uh, Fitch, please go at frenchystamps.com and you're going to have right at the top, contact, click on that, send me your mailing address and that beautiful thing going to go in the mail to you. Also last week I did, and that's with the paper, the Simply Marble, uh, Marvelous paper from celebration the northern light i think that was a winner so 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 many people created that they were inspired to do it themselves and um, so it made me happy when people shared the cards that i did uh, i inspired them to do it okay so here is the vellum we are using tonight so the vellum it's on page 33 it's number four there. It's called Vellum Layering Design. So it comes in four different design. And, uh oh, it's 12 by 12. Okay, you're going to see my paper. It's six by six. It's because I always, when I do paper share, I keep one for myself. I didn't use it yet. See? Uh, no, I did use it. I must have a full paper uh, pack someplace. I did a card with that. So what you get, you get what I call the type pad. Let me put, okay, so you get the white. Oh, and it's two side to it. You're going to see the side, the true side. Um, it is um, more shiny, okay? And then you get the black, the white and black. That's what I call the type pad. It's all in the same thing. And then you get the road map. If I do white there, and here we go. See, this is wrong way. I'm going to turn it it's a lot more pronounced. Okay. And so all, all print come in the white and black. And then tonight, we are using the script. So the script, you see, some go horizontal some go vertical so it doesn't matter which way you're going to cut it it's going to be partial one way partial the other way okay so it shouldn't matter which way we're going to cut it now throughout i'm going to share uh, tips on how to adhere whatever glue the vellum that worked for the regular vellum also okay so let me move that uh, when I said to join my team and you get, um, um, you know, discount right now, if you at any time, it's a good time to join my team because you get a hundred and twenty five dollar product of your choice and you only pay ninety nine dollars. It's free shipping. Well, during celebration, it's a little uh, more um, extra token. So you get this time you get two. every celebration. It's different. This time you get two extra stamp set of your choice of any value. Exception, celebration stamp set and um, stamping reward stamp set. But like this set here, a wish for everything, it's $39. You can add that to your kit. 
or you can have quiet metal you can have any stamp set okay it's two extra from the 125. tonight i am playing with the metal and the quiet metal the bundle here all the supplies that i plan to use it's right below in the description there the link so like i mentioned earlier we're going to use the three rectangle stitch that was the leftover from the the window with the silhouette okay i will have that um video at the end of this one after this is done recording so i think i want this up here we go so because i had done two frame with gray granite so that's why i got two of that and then the opening was in blackberry bliss and i said we're going to do something with this so what we're going to do we're going to take our um the not the white we're going to take the black and we're going to cut and glue on top of this and you're going to say well why not cutting the stitch i try um with cutting the stitch and put it on top of that and we didn't really this see the stitch i was doing another card not with these another card a couple weeks ago and i was like mm. so we're going to put it just in the center so let's measure this so from it's about mm, one five eight by three just a little over one five eight i think so let's do that we're going to go at three and then we're going to go at that's four five eight and let's see if that works so we're going to do two of this perfect that's that is perfect and one five eight okay so that is done now we're going to glue that let me bring the silicone that it's one thing i didn't put in my supplies list but i will add it though okay so um the full frame really was like one seven eight by three and a quarter and that's what's the stitch so i do not apply my glue on this because that really show on the vellum so what i do you want to look and you're going to say how can you tell the front and the back you're going to be able to tell see i bet you can even tell in the picture here in the video the front it's more uh, dark it's more pronounced and the back it's more soft okay so we're going to put the back there we're going to start with one i like to use a sponge so that's the same way i get a tip video and i had learned that from linda bowen how to uh, glue the vellum that don't show so i use a paper clip i use tumble glue and put that on my sponge and then you're going to sponge the back of your vellum all smooth okay i need a little bit more there this um and i don't wash my um oops don't go in this glue i don't wash my um this here uh, my sponge every time i just put it in a ziploc bag so this time it was stiff a little bit so now we're going to put that right here i'm sorry if my head it's right in the camera but i need to see what i'm doing here voila okay now it don't matter if it's uh, the regular vellum or this one see because the way that we spread the glue it don't show ollie is live tonight and she can witness to that i on facebook i got a uh, create and share with frenchie and we were talking about vellum and somebody really convinced me to uh, buy some, um, a new brand of um, vellum tape. So I thought, you know what? I tried the vellum tape a long time ago. Like anything else must be improved, right? I'm going to tell you right now, for me, it didn't work. 
I still see it. Depends which color cardstock and so on. But this is a lifesaver. It's a guarantee every time it works. So be careful if you do uh, buy that velling tape. It's a good chance um, that you're still going to see your mark. Uh, I think on white it was showing the most, or was it on color? It was on something, yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'd rather take the time to use this. And now what I do with this, put it back in here. And when it gets too stiff, I wash my, um, my sponge with just a plain soapy water, dish soap and water. Let it soak in hot water for a bit, and boom. So that's one of the best tips, if you didn't know that, that, um, see, you, you cannot see it, right? You don't see the glue, you don't see the, the smear of it, so you just very, very s soft. Okay, we got that done. Now, now what are we going to do with the rest, right? So I thought, okay, we got some writing on this. This is the cursive. We're going to have some flower dough uh, in vellum. So I'm going to do um, the greeting in this. I want it. I don't want the cursive. I want the writing dough. One minute. I want this print in uh, whatever, type pad. See? Okay. So let's do that on this. I need a scrappy paper here. I'm going to try to keep that uh, clean. I didn't bring no blog, so I don't know what the heck I was thinking I was doing tonight. Well, it's not a lot of stamping, so maybe that's why I didn't bring the blocks. Okay, so... Um, Yes, positive, uh, you're right, Ollie, the adhesive sheet still show. Yes, you are correct. Yeah, that is not, uh, and it would be hard for little bits of, yeah, that still show. Okay, so, because um, I know I won't go straight, so i just going to. Et voila, all random. Now, I don't know if that's the right side that I need, though. So um, I want um, five and a quarter, yeah, five and a quarter by four. So we're going to put this right here. And we're going to put that right there. And this one. So I'm sure you guys get, I don't know, I know I do. I get buckets that, you know, left over from a frame or left over from a flower or whatever, and I toss in there. And once in a while, I go in my bucket. Well, this one didn't went in my bucket because I had promised I would do a card. Oh, I think this is going to be good. Okay, now we have to have something, something with that. So let's put that aside for now. And I got those flowers here. Okay, we're going to use this one. We're going to use that one. And I want those leaves there. Okay, let's use that. And let's bring... Okay, so I need some pink flowers. And I need some purple flowers and vellum. So this one here, I'm going to do it in the pink. And this one I'm going to do, and I don't need the whole thing. So I'm going to do two in the purple. I got another piece of purple here. And we're going to do, uh, hmm, that's, you know what, that's too big. I'm just going to put it in the center. Okay, we're going we're gonna to try it. Don't even know if I'm going to use it, okay? Okay. 
Yes, for uh, indicate um, when it comes to dyes, though, I love to use my adhesive sheet. That I find it a lot boom quick. But uh, the sponge will work very good also for that. Yes, 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 ma'am. Okay. We're going to do some cutting. So this is kind of a true create on the fly tonight because I have no clue. I, I think I know what I wanted to do, but, you know, when you don't have a card finish, you're not sure. So I'm going to put that there because uh, I just need one pink. And it's petal pink, okay? Let's roll on, baby. And then I'm going to do, because I just need partial, so let's roll on here, and let's roll on that. Okay, and then this. Okay, when you do partial, here's another tip for you for tonight. Okay. I cannot do this here. See, I, you think, oh, I got it partial, right? Do you see a big red flag here? So I would put that here. It's a good chance you're going to break or bend your die very terribly or it can snap in two. Your die cannot pass this here. So you have to move it more up and then make sure it don't pass because if that's the case, then if you break your die like that, it's not, that's uh, operator error, okay? So make sure your die don't pass that. Okay, now I'm going to do two, uh, no, one vellum we said because the other one was too much. Okay, we're going to do just one vellum. Okay, let's see what we can do with whatever I get cut. Maybe I'm going to have to come and cut more. But right now, let's see what we got to work with. Oh, I almost sit on the floor. That would have not been good on my back. Silly me. Okay, let's put this away here. And let's bring this. Oh my goodness. I just thought of something. Hold on. Hold on. Keep your thought. One minute. One memento. One memento. One memento. Blackberry Bliss. Uh, no. We're going to go uh, petal, petal, petal pink. Okay, petal pink. If I would be petal pink, I would be right here. Okay, no, that's soft. Where's my petal pink? Here it is. Okay, for the inside. So now, if you are new to my channel, I got some video. I know what the heck I'm going to do before I go before I start the video. But this is called create on the fly. So I go with the flow with that. I can change my mind as I go. I create uh, from scratch live. So I know this is not for everybody. Some people find it maybe not, not as fun. Other people love it and I love it. So you guys can see what I create, right? So I'm using my negative that we just cut there. And we're going to, so let's say you just get the die. You don't have the stamp. And also the stamp, it's not a bowl like that. And then I'm going to get green. So all this, I was not planning to use that. So I'm going to edit my, uh, uh, what you may call like that thing there, the shopping cart there. I will edit that. I got uh, Ola Olive. I could uh, get... Uh, Pizzazz stuff with light, but that's okay. I'm just gonna. Voila! How 
cute is that? See, boom, boom. So sometimes even with your die cut, you can go to town with them, right? Okay, so that was something I was not planning on. Okay, let's glue those uh, thing right here. Oh, I'm sorry, Sue. Sue did uh, what I said not to do, and she did uh, break one of her die. And I can see how, you know, if we, especially those border die that sh she did, yeah. Okay, gonna put, what are we gonna do? Because we got three, but it's easier put one there, one here, and then center in the middle of it. So yeah, anytime that you cut, you know, uh, especially the rectangle, if you cut a frame, like a border, a frame around, keep the center because it's always good in there in to use back. And this one going to go right here. And I didn't bring it, but I know we got some gray granite um, ribbon. So I'm going to go gather some gray, get a gray granite ribbon. Okay. That would be my gray granite ri ribbon right here, baby. Okay. Now we know this going to go here. And that would have been easy if I would have put on uh, the adhesive sheet, what we were talking about, but I was not sure if I'm going to use it and so on. And this going to come here. That one, we're going to shrink that baby. It's too big for me. Way, way too big. I know we had a pink flower at one time. Okay, you guys, I know you're screaming at me and you're telling me. Because you see, I know we had it. But where the heck did it go? Oh, don't you? Oh, it's here. It's still in the die. Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay, like this here, like I said, it's going to, if I put that there, it's too, it's going to be way too much, way too much. So what I'm going to do is cut this here. I'm going to cut that there. Okay, now that's going to go there much better see the other one was too big so we can alternate that so we're going to use a little bit more pink let me add pink to this so just on the tip of the petal here Let me add just a tiny little bit. Oh, that's not pink. Here it is. Okay, that's enough. Okay, now we're going to start gluing. So, this one, I want to start in the center, my focal point. So we're going to bring back our sponge, 
and we're going to glue this. So you're going to see on color card stock now. So we saw on gray granite, it's very neut neutral, right? Especially with this vellum. So now you're going to see it on how dark can you go pretty much black and blackberry blissets. So I just going to, and this here, what I'm doing, that's a no, no for, for vellum. You don't want to do that. Uh, well, to start with, but then you want to smooth. See, you don't want those daubing. If it's cardstock, absolutely, because it doesn't matter. But for vellum, you want to smooth it. Smooth. That's the trick to have the vellum, the glue not showing. So you can tap it like I did to add glue everywhere, because it's friendlier than to press. Okay. Now we're going to remove this. And if you're wondering what I'm going to do with uh, this here, with my silicone mat, I just going to rinse it under hot water and sometimes use a little bit of this soap. But most time, just hot water, lukewarm, it, uh, the glue come right off. Et voila. See, you cannot even see where I glue. Somebody is without power here. That remind me, last year, me and Ollie, hmm, we didn't win without power, but we did a crazy um, no water for a week. That was last week, last year. <laughs> so I got all those memory popping in my uh, Facebook. It's so funny. Okay, I'm just adding glue here. I'm going to add... One on this way, and then well, I'm glad you guys, some of you like um, watching me create on the fly. I got most of you, I think, like it if you're here, right? It's just some people, it's not their cup of tea, and I understand it's not for everybody. They're like, we want to see what. We want to see what you're going to be making if it's worth staying. That was the thing. I'm like, oh, sorry. You can watch the replay then and see if it's worth watching. <laughs> and then we going this one, I'm going to jack that up. I'm going to raise that up here, okay? So, jack that up. That's funny. <laughs> We're going to jack that up. What the heck am I saying? I meant we're going to raise it up. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is not where I want that. Yep, it's still stuck in the dye. You got that right. Okay, now I'm going to go to the mini dimensional here, right there, right here. I need one there though. So, I'm going to come right here, do a sliver. Okay. And um, the remember subscribe to my channel if you want to get notification in an email well not only you need to subscribe but then after you subscribe you need to hit that little bell with the notification and then if you like what you see don't be shy to give me that thumb ups Awesome. That make me happy. Rita said she always learns something new when she watch on the fly. Okay, we're going to put that right here. And I'm going to go diagonal here. Here we go. Boom. How pretty that is. 
Okay, that's gonna get mounted. So somebody gonna win this. I announced the winner. How can you um, be part of the drawing? It's when you leave a comment. I understand when you're we're live, you have to be logging into Google. That it's not me. That's a YouTube thing. But you can always come back to if you don't have the Google account and leave a comment after we're done. Oh, I want to add some ribbon. Oh, I know where we're going to add ribbon. One minute. You know what? We need that's don't go. Mm -mm. One minute. We need something else there. You see, that's how I create. I think something's going to work. And then I'm like, uh, heck no. Heck, heck no. Don't look so good. Okay, get glue on this. I'm going to use, because it's I cannot cut any more from that, so it was four by five and a quarter. We're going to go at four and one eight by uh, five and three eighths. Okay, let's see. I, it was that baby pink, that petal pink was pale with the white. Yeah, she looked like she had a cold. She was very pale, pale. She needed some blush. Woo! That's going to lift up this card in like no tomorrow. This going to see how much it's changed. Just one layer. Huh, I got glue all over here. See one layer how much it's changed. I think it's unbelievable. Because the center was dark and the rest was too light for it. And I see this is off a bit here. Can I move that a bit? Okay, let's glue this in the back. We're going to add um, ribbon. Yeah, that Blackberry Bliss layer at everything different. Absolutely. Let's, uh, I know I got some ribbon. And maybe we need some. Okay, the Greek granite, it's kind of a stiff ribbon, okay? So what I do, I like to use my bone folder and kind of whatever, take the sniff, sti stiffness away. Yes, the color combination, I agree. I think it's beautiful, Deborah. It's a petal pink, um, gray granite, and pe um, blackberry bliss. I think those three colors together, it's stunning. I agree 100%. Okay, let me redo this. So... That was the leftover from another create on the fly. So see, keep the stuff. And I had said, mm, we're going to put that aside then. Okay, we're going to do it just a little bit smaller. I like my big scissors for my ribbon, though. I so would love that Stamping Up would sell those ribbon, uh, uh, ribbon scissors. I absolutely love mine. Love it. Okay, let's wait. Let's tie it up first, and then I'm going to glue it after. Okay, we're going to use a glue dot that I don't have it here. Let me reach. And... Okay, now we're going to trim that. And I get some wink of Stella here. This one, it's almost empty, but enough to finish this card. Et voila. So, 
I thought to put a greeting from that. You know what? Um, oh, yeah, I did use that. I thought to put maybe thinking of you and put it like cut my thing, but that it's busy enough. So I am not putting any greeting. So whoever going to win this card inside, you can add thinking of you. You can add happy birthday. You can add because you're going to get the card. I don't write anything in the card. So you can use them when you need a card. You can use them. So this way you can use that. I mean, it would go for sympathy, would go for thinking of you, happy birthday, uh, just because and so on. So um, you decide how you want to use it. 220. Here we go. So what do you think? I think that's a winner too. I agree those uh, colors are so striking. So this is the vellum. So we learn how to glue that vellum. And this is the vellum. And see, we get all the difference in that print. Oh, yes, yes. Let's do, um, you're right. Let's do um, Blackberry Bliss on the envelope. Let's do a so we're going to go ahead and, okay, I don't have Blackberry Bliss, so we're going to do, um, oh, I got, yeah, I got Blackberry Bliss here. Let's see um, if I get enough ink on this here. Yeah. And I'm going to do like this and this. And let's get a bit of uh, green. Et voila! See, I didn't, I couldn't stamp. Maybe that's what you are saying. I should stamp it, but I didn't have uh, the thing, the block or whatever, so boom. So now we got our envelope that go with that. How pretty that is. And inside, it's not this flower, it's this one. So what do you think of all this? Is it something that inspired? I hope that really it inspired you to keep those things, you know? And I get a bucket here that, I mean, always, and I go through that and then, I got a, a bag there. I'm like, I need, I need to downsize that. So sometime I'm going to say, okay, we want to win the pack of leftovers, right? So I hope you enjoyed this. I think it turned out very good with leftovers. I like it. Three panels and perfect. So don't forget, celebration, it's pretty much ending. Uh, Monday, it's the last day. We got, um, right now, before I went live, all product was still uh, available in uh, celebration. You can join my team for $99. You pick $125 of product of your choice. Plus, you get two extra stamp set, not from celebration or a stamping reward. It, all the other one, it's a fair game. Uh, that's going on till uh, Monday also. And then also, if you join my team, you can join the team uh, retreat online March 12th. Um, you get 20% discount minimum when you start shop stamping up as long as you stay active. Uh, what else? Oh, the in color. Don't forget, in color. So that's um, Misty Moonlight. Uh, magenta madness cinnamon cider bumblebee just jade now it's the time to stock up because before long we will have the retire list and sometime some of the in color sell before we get the list so you know it's right around the corner the new catalog start in may and uh, we're going to get the retire list because us demonstrator we're going to see the new catalog March 23rd. So we're going to get the list by then. So that's about it. I tried to think what else in the housekeeping that I call it. Um, I think that's about it. So have a lovely day, my friend. Until next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye for now.